Dude, I, I, this is one of the best mods I've ever seen in Ravenfield. So welcome back to Ravenfield. Today I've got this custom map called Toyama Beach. And you may be saying like, is it like Toyama as in toys? Yes. <laughs> Plastic army men specifically. Now the skins of the characters, the custom vehicles and the custom weapons were all made by a guy named Sofa. Or if you remember Fifth Smell, yeah, that guy. Now this one's recommended between 50 and 100, so let's try it out at 100. Now I don't know what to expect much, except for the fact that it's like an amphibious invasion here. There we go, now we'll spawn here, or we could spawn in the airfield, but let's go to the army men green. So there's different weapons. I could be green and be carrying tan weapons, but you know what, let's just go with, oh my God, a Uzi? Uh, I feel like the machine gun would be pretty sweet. And let's go with, ooh, a SMG. Now remember that there is the new C4 weapons, but let's see what we have. Oh Oh my god classic bazooka and we'll go with some frag grenades here and you know what let's actually hit the beach from the beginning and then we'll do a flyover because i want to see what it's like to attack the beach so here we are looks pretty nice you can tell that we're like in a backyard or a sandbox or something oh my god these guns sound amazing and look at the tank coming off of the landing crab <laughs> this is incredible bangalores Oh my god, this sounds glorious. I can't even see the tan infantrymen. All I see is the high ridge that we're attacking on. Oh my god, it's like green army men D-Day. And it's like a kind of a, a dark and, you know, brooding day. Maybe it's raining a little bit. I haven't even gotten shot at. I think my guys are just like, here we go. Let's, let's listen to the Uzi. <laughs> this sounds amazing. All right, we got a frag grenade and we got a bazooka. Let's see if I can't see anybody in that. Oh, oh no, they, well, fly just uh, started shooting at me here. So we tried out that, let's go ahead and try out a sniper rifle given our uh, our beach assault. And I'm gonna have a flamethrower in case I get close up. So the sniper rifle should help. Let's see, can I see anybody? Yes, I can. <laughs> get dropped. Oh yeah, look at them. They're all, they're all just sitting up there. I mean, I would be too, because that's the defended area. Oh man, they just shot down one of our fighter planes right there. Oh, 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 I'm about to start taking machine gun fire from a dude in... Okay, I guess he got shot. Oh my god, the sound effects on all the weapons are like almost perfect. I say almost just because I don't know enough about sound design uh, to really give like a inaccurate critical response to it. But I'd say as far as I'm concerned, it sounds great and it's very atmospheric and... Or did, did our guys just bull rush over there? They did. They're already up the beach. So I guess one of the things we could do is we're going to try out Tan um, defending. We just took Tananian bunkers. The Tananians are here, boys. Speaking of which, I've got a flamethrower, which is a weapon. Oh, this is great. A weapon that's not in regular Ravenfield. Uh-oh, I'm taking shots. I think Tan just, I think Tan just retook. Let's take a look at the map real quick. Yeah, they did retake this. All right, well, I got frag grenades. Whoa! What was that? Did someone fire a fireball like Mario style? Those are green army men. All right, we're moving in. I'm gonna get my flame throughout. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Lens got me. So sniper rifle's really good. Now, we can't spawn closer yet. I guess what I could do is I'm gonna spawn out on the carrier air force here and see what the uh, air force situation is all about. Like, am I... What am I on, actually? Okay. Oh my god, the sound effects are glorious! Yeah. Oops, sorry there, Bob. Okay, so we're not on a carrier, we're just like outside the map now. I've got rockets. Let's see, do they have a... No, they have an anti-aircraft gun, so I should be able to fly outside of the map here, outside of the sandbox and get some cover while my rockets recharge. Flak gun is right there. Ooh! Look at the... Hold on. Look at this battleship. Now, if only you could use the guns as like an artillery barrage of some sort, maybe like call in. Like, we need artillery support on the bunkers. Uh-oh, I accidentally jumped out. So needless to say, getting up this beach is, oh wait, that's the guy. Where'd you go? Oh man, I lost him. The guy with the headphones. It's one of the secrets. One of the top little secrets in Ravenfield is if you see a guy with a little iPad or rather iPod and headphones running around, he's so rare. I cannot believe we saw one. And then we lost him. Man, I really want a tank. Let's go ahead and try out one of these tanks. Now, it looks like a Patton era, like American Vietnam tank or Viet American Vietnam era tank. So we got the coaxial machine gun and we got the main cannon. Dude, this thing's nice. It's got the little turret on the top. Storm the beaches, boys. Now, the only thing that would make it even better. Oh, man. And they're actually like very accurate. And the tracer fire really gives you a good idea of where they're shooting. 
There we go. Ooh, I just got hit by any armor. So we're gonna try to lead the invasion here, which is honestly what a tank would do <laughs> in an amphibious invasion. But what I was saying is I really wish that, oh man, look at that. The coax is, is just great. This is a better tank, I think, than the one in the game. But I was saying, I, I wish you could actually have like amphibious invasions from the beginning. Like you'd actually have to get on landing craft in order to make progress. There we go. Oh, reload the coax. Yeah, I feel like I should have a few more belts of ammunition than just like 60 rounds. Oh, that guy had a bazooka. Yes! You know what? We're going down with the tank. Never mind. I'm just kidding. Oh, God. Are they behind us? Oh! <laughs> Famous last words. Oh, are they behind us? Now, what point do we need to take? We need to take that middle. I guess we did contest it. So we're spawning at UTGM. I wonder what UTGM stands for. United Tan Green Marsupials. Oh, here we go. I'm going to deploy right there and I'm going to use the uh, machine gun again. That way we'll be able to lay down some covering fire. So hopefully that we can hold that point a little bit longer than we have in the past. All right, boys, hold on to this. Last time Tan counterattack and took it. Oh, they're over there. Now the grass is just a little bit too high. I can't really see it. This is why you want to fire these things in bursts. All right, can I? What about here? Here we go. Damn mother trucker die. Damn mother trucker die. Damn mother trucker die. Right, what movie was that in where he's like, all you got to do is just say die. And that's when you know to pull off the trigger. But imagine if this was multiplayer and you guys were defending the beach and I was attacking with my squads. Man, that would be epic. All right, boys, we're doing this. Yeah, I just ran in front of some tracer fires from my friend. Frags out. Frags out again. Whoa! Someone's got a flamethrower. <laughs> oh, man, I thought we had him. All right, well, that was pretty epic. Now, what if I just went Uzi? I just have twin Uzis. Hopefully, this one's a little different than the sidearm one, but I don't really know. Gentlemen, prepare to invade. Now, let's see if we can't find some better cover here. This is one of those situations where I think if we adjusted... <laughs> firing an Uzi from a hip at distance is not very effective. If we had adjusted the spawn time... Hey, bud! Yeah, that, that's the way to do it. Just snipe him with your pistol. I guess I'm using a machine pistol, so, you know. We all have our... Weapons. Oh, that's tan. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Do the little halo hop. The halo hop time. Unfortunately, we don't have Mjolnir armor with shields, so it's a little bit more dangerous. Uh oh, that's a tanny boy. Oh man. That's bad. So now what we're going to want to try to do, though, is we're definitely going to keep it on point match, but then we're going to keep it as Raven because I want to be one of the tan forces. Now, unfortunately, on this map, we don't get to see the helicopters in action, but I feel like I'd rather have helicopters to support an amphibious assault. I mean, assuming that the enemy didn't have air superiority because that's a much better ground defense. All right. So in order to do this, I'm thinking sniper, Uzi, flamethrower and grenades. Oh, wait, hold on. We have to change our weapons. To tan. <laughs> they can't be running around with green weapons. I'm gonna use green grenades so when they see them, they're like, oh, wait a minute. That's ours. That's okay. <laughs> That's not how it works. All right, we, we hold three flags. I'm gonna get in one of these pillboxes and hopefully they don't snipe me, but oh, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this, dude. Oh, my gosh. This is. Uh oh, did the gun overheat? Yeah, it did. We're taking. A lot of enemy fire. And unfortunately, this site isn't... You have to fire... You have to follow the tracers. You can't really look down the site. Oh, <laughs> the modders took me out. So that's just one of those little uh, Ravenfield things where you can't... You know, it is what it is. Oh, they took out the machine gun too. All right, where are the enemy at? Well, they're on the beach, aren't they? Pew. Oh, he stopped. Got one. <laughs> I fired at a bunch of units now that were running in formation so hopefully i would hit one guys we we, we i need a wrench then i can repair this machine gun oh they got me in the pancreas oh god they got me in the pancreas yeah. oh shoot oh biscuits and gravy oh get in that bunker we're at nine health okay what i need to do is battle plan everybody hold this I gotta, I gotta hit headshots, which is a little bit tricky. Dang, but look at this, man. Uh, yeah, and if the battleships are firing, GG, boys. There we go. All right, there is a machine. Oh, well, you take that back. 
Imagine if there was like physics where you'd see the army men melting. Woo. That'd be epic. All right. So unfortunately, I think they contested it. Oh, they contested one of those. Wow. They contested one of our, they back capped us. Hold the flag, boys. Reinforcements have arrived. Let's see. Can a flamethrower take out a tank? I hope so. <laughs> Wait, they stopped. Did I burn them? Oh my God. I think I burned them. Oh. <gasps> I just took the tank. See, we don't have any tank support. I mean, let me rephrase. We didn't have any tank support. Now we do. Tan and green kind of look similar, though. I would, I would, I would make the colors a little bit more pronounced. But I understand this is probably like more of like a, a plastic army man that's maybe a little bit more realistic. Goodbye, Ivan. Ivan's a terrible, the terribly dead. Goodbye, tag. You're it. <laughs> Dad jokes for days. What if? What if I was just like a tanker in a war and I was just running around every time I got a kill, I, I would just do a dad joke. Oh man, the enemy, the enemy morale would just drop just like all three of those guys did. Ow, armor, ow, biscuits. That guy's name was Baron. All right, so I got to hold this flank. Oh, we got a little no scope battle. Hey, where are you at, boy? That was not the sniper. I got his uh, M60 machine gun support. Oh, look at that. He looks like he's pooping too. He just, I think he just, just teabagged me in a way. He did the Ravenfield Plastic Army Mod equivalent of teabag. Oh my goodness. Morale is dropping over here on the tan army as we had taken a tank and then we lost it. But that means they should have a sniper on these hills. Not seeing anybody though. Let's just follow the tracer fire. Hey, stop that. Oh, <gasps> that guy had the headphones. Do you see it? See that guy? That guy's got the headphones we were looking for. All right, I got to do this. I'm gonna die, but I've gotta try to get him. Ow, Halo Hop is not as effective. Oh, I got shot by a mongoose. Dang it, that guy looked like he had a, ooh, -hoo. dude. Slow motion ragdoll physics? You gotta be kidding me, that's awesome. All right, well, I wanna defend the base again. You know what, I haven't tried the green grenades against the green guys to see if they wouldn't be scared by it. But I like how all, look at that. That's an M16 with a bayonet. Get yourself a bayonet. Now, the best way to be effective as a sniper is find an open field and run out into it. The enemy will never think it's you because it's so dumb. It's like, wait, what's he doing? That can't be a bad guy. That's just the dumbest thing I ever saw. Boom, biscuits. Dang it. Oh, I got one. I roasted him from distance. I can't see him. I just see tracers coming from over there. There he is. He was hiding, but look at this, man. Dude, talk about an effective way to clear out the enemy force. All right, so we're going to just keep pushing. Dude, I, I, this is one of the best mods I've ever seen in Ravenfield. And honestly, I feel like every time I play a sofa mod, his quality and ingenuity and, and like desire to try new things just stands out. And I, I think this map was made by someone else in their little army man community. And I got to say that the map is pretty good, too. One thing, though, is like you can tell... Well, huh? Th these are like assets. Like, I've seen these in totally accurate battlegrounds. And don't get me wrong. I totally understand why modders would use this. I would use them, too. These guys have skills that I don't even have. So I'm, like, incredibly appreciative of all the amazing work they did. But if I was to make a game, I mean, you can't use those little assets in it. But the mining community? Heck yeah. All right, boys, we got to retake these bunker complex. Oh, bazooka to the right. Oh, they hit the tank. Okay. Yeah, so honestly, if you want a little cheat code here or a very effective way to uh, get roasted, Billy, is uh, you flame the tank that way you can take it over oh wow so tan army has no vehicle support oh look at this that guy was firing a belt fed machine gun do it again do it again do it again all right i'm gonna get in cover ow that tank's got me lined up man yeah how about a big no for me thanks oh i was gonna shoot him and he got hit the nuts oh i missed him because he was rolling all right pew Oh, right in wheels' face. Hey, can we get you? It's always easier to snipe in slow-mo. I mean, come on. This is just awesome. This is what Ravenfield's all about, baby. Mods and slow-mo ragdolls. Oh, what are we shooting at? Oh, okay. Take cover. Thanks. Imagine if you just saw someone, like, flying out a flamethrower. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was gonna run on the beach and then duplex drive over there just smack me with a big tank shell. All right, so we've tried that. I guess the only one we haven't tried is the M16 and the shotgun. Let's try the bayonet. I'm gonna try to bayonet somebody. All right, I got the bayonet out, which is an infinity out. Dude, this is pretty nifty. Oh, dude, this is glorious. I, I, I Don't you think that when it comes to plastic army men, the Vietnam era is that classic, like, that's what you think about in terms of the weapons? All right, the tank is aiming at me. I, I still want to bayonet somebody. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's one of a friendly sniper. Oh, mongoose. Mongoose again? All right, we're going to try to bayonet somebody. All right, I see a guy. I've got my bayonet ready. Uh oh, they're coming from one of those bunkers. All right, we got one. Come on and get close. This thing, I've never really fired an M16 in a video game when it's full auto. Most times they like, you know, make it like sort of like a class. And <laughs> come on, Pickle Rick. And they make it like semi-auto almost all the time. All right, guys. Well, this is the Plastic Army Men mod. Now, I want to show you the map so you can look for it on the Steam Workshop. So it's called Toyama Beach. And Toyama Beach was made by Rumist and Trapster. And there's like an entire collection. There's multiple maps. So if you guys want to see more Plastic Army or maybe if you guys want me to go and play some Home Wars, well, let me know. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see more Ravenfield and more of the Plastic Army Men mods for it, because there are more maps. And I'll see you guys in the next video.